What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We are here with Rob from the Howling Hour, Knights of Horror, and Boo Bros. We are here and on the fence movie reviews. I almost forgot I went. Oh, you can't forget on the fence, man. On the fence is good. <laughs> um, and then we got Sammy and I from the Knights of Horror and Boo Bros. We are here today to give you another video for HHN Week. And today we're going to be talking about our most anticipated scare zones for Halloween Horror Nights 2022 here on the Nights of Horror for Halloween Horror Nights Week 2022. I'm so excited. We are literally, next week is the event. We are so stoked. Um, it's been, you know, a couple months in the making now. Announcements have been great. This lineup looks stacked. And let's talk a little bit about these scare zones. And tomorrow, you're going to want to tune in tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to talk about our most anticipated mazes. We know you guys love those videos, so we're going to be talking about that tomorrow on the channel. But, but today, let's get on with our most anticipated scare zones. We got four scare zones, and then John Murdy said he's going to sprinkle some stuff around the park yet, so we haven't really decided what that is yet. So for now, we're just going to go off the face, the four that we have announced thus far. So starting with number four, Rob, what is your number four most anticipated scare zone? Uh, my number four is Clown Saws. Uh, you know, just... I think that's all of our number fours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it, you know, I, I kind of know what to expect with it. So, it, you know, but not to say it's, I'm not excited for it, but, you know, it's just very familiar. I think we know what we're going to get with this. I mean, yeah, this is the one that's opening the event right here. This is going to have our chainsaws on the top deck right there. And so we're very excited to see chainsaws again. It was really hard for me to do both of these lists because there's a lot of great stuff coming to the event this year. So it was yeah. hard to kind of dictate as to what I'm going to see as far as everything goes. But nonetheless, I think clown saws is going to be a fun time. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what they do with the different clown designs as far as if there's going to be different clowns running around with chainsaws, like different looks and whatnot. So I'm stoked for that. What about you, Sammy? Yeah, number four right here, obviously clown saws, um, as we all agreed on. <laughs> Uh, without talking to each other um i, I you know like like rob said it's kind of something you understand what you're walking into Ch chainsaws clowns it's going to be scary it's going to be fun the reason why i rank this one as the lowest on my list is because it's a it's a zone that we kind of really don't see um because we usually take advantage of the early entry and so we only see this as we're leaving the event really um and so then that's why it, and, and it kind of gets mixed up with the other scare zone that's up there in that area. Um, so that's where it kind of gets a little confusing I, I, in the last few years that I've gone. Um, so, you know, you know what we're getting and it's like, OK, cool. Like, I know that I'm going to see some chainsaws as I leave the park. Exactly. Um, I guess I'll kick us off with our number three, which for me is going to be Sideshow Slaughterhouse. Is that it? That's are we are different. Are we different now? No. Uh, nope. No. We're not <laughs> right on the same page. Right All on right. the same page. Uh, yeah. Sideshow Slaughterhouse. I mean, it sounds interesting. It really does. I'm. I'm. I'm really excited to see what we are going to be seeing as far as uh, you know characters and whatnot in this scare zone. You think of sideshow, then you start thinking of like you know back in the day, you know when they had the circus come into town, they had the sideshows come, uh, but then it has the word slaughterhouse in it. So. This is a twisted version of a sideshow attraction. So I'm excited to see what they pull out, if it's going to have that carnival uh, vibe to it, but like a twisted kind of demented carnival um, vibe. We know the flame towers are going to be there, so that's always exciting to see the flame towers. We are big fans of the flame towers. I've been seeing those since 2011 at HHN, and I love them. There was like a couple years they didn't have them, but I was like, damn, I miss them. And then they came back, and I was like, hell yeah, they're back. So... I'm excited to see what this one has to offer as far as uh, what characters we're going to see and, and how they're going to give us, immerse us into that carnival feel. Go for it, Rob. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, same, sorry. Same thing for me. Uh, it's the, the sideshow slaughterhouse. Uh, kind of you, uh, you alluded to it, uh, Tony. Just I think w when you think of sideshow, you think of like, you know, the, the, the bearded, the bearded woman and just all these different, like, you know, kind of side sh sideshow uh, characters that you would, you know, you pay your, I think of like when you pay your nickel or you pay your 10 cents to get in and, and, you know, you got the, you know, the, the, the dragon or, you know, the scaled person or the person could the snake man and, you know, just all those different characters, the elephant man, all these different characters. Uh, and then, I think you know you probably give them a give them a knife or a chainsaw or some kind of axe and let them run around and cause havoc. So uh, I'm excited to see the characters that they're going to bring the the instruments that they that they will wield to scare us. So I think this is going to be a a uh, a good good uh, zone. 
Yeah, I, I think, as I mentioned on, on the last zone, I definitely think this is kind of going to get intertwined with Pond Saws. Um, it's very much going to have a circus fill up there. Um, and then when I think of, like, sideshows, you know, I'm really thinking of a, 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 a great Hugh Jackman film, The Greatest Showman. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Solid you know, film. you know, um, you know, and how Barnum and Bailey made all their money by, you know, relying on sideshow acts. So maybe right. uh, so this is kind of giving me a, like a little bit of a carnival dark ride fill if, if I was to compare it to anything over at Knott's. OK, um, so I, I definitely think it's going to be good. Um, I just think it, it has the the possibility of kind of getting merged in with clown saws um, already from the photos I've been seeing as they've been sprucing up the uh, park to get ready for Horror Nights. I, I've seen some pic- like some pictures of what's going on there. I mean, it looks like there's going to be some cool little stage opportunities and stuff, so that gets me kind of excited to, to walk through this zone, but it's not like I'm, I'm going to walk through this zone because there's no way to avoid it, but I'm not like, this is a must-see. Yeah. Um, it's kind of just like, oh, this is cool. Build some more atmosphere into the event. Yeah. Uh, Sammy, you're number two. Number two for me. Um, is going to be the Death Eaters oh. over in the Wizarding World. Uh oh, did I did I did I flip a, a flip? For a me, you did switch? a flip. Yeah, did you flipped flip. you flipped on me. Yeah. Um, so Rob Death and I Eaters, have the same list. <laughs> um, so Death Eaters, I think they're going to be really cool. Um, I just don't see how it's going to be scary. Um, like I'm excited to see it. It's going to add more immersion to the event because um, it kind of felt like you were at. Like you had to go through like Horror Nights, and then you were in wi- the Wizarding World, and then you were back in Horror Nights as you were going down to the Curious George parking lot. So I'm glad that it's there is gonna be some form of scariness there. Um, I just don't know how scary it's going to be. Um, but I'm gonna enjoy it. This was a tough one for me because I really do enjoy Harry Potter. Um, but so I the the, the reason why I don't put it number one is because I don't know how it's going to scare people. Um, just having people walk around in like cloaks, um, and those masks from the Death Eaters. I think for number two for me and Rob is uh, El Pueblo del Ter. The, um, what's the proper term to say this? Hispanic heritage kind of? Yeah, I'm scary, a, Hispanic, Hispanic, uh, yeah, Hispanic urban lore, legends Hispanic, and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cause I, I wouldn't say it's just Mexico. There's probably other urban legends and other Hispanic cultures that yeah. these urban legends come out to. Um, so. I think it's just fair to say that to not really, you know, dictate just one. Um, But there's a lot of great creatures coming out in this scare zone. I mean, you have the Chupacabra for one. Uh, La Llorona is going to have the maze. And then I I assume she'll probably make an appearance in the scare zone and whatnot amongst a lot of others that they found and stuff. So, you know, I'm excited to see what um, this one has to offer. I'm excited to see... uh, what the uh, overall like vibe and feel of it's going to be like? Are we gonna gonna come out of La Llorona and then go straight into that scare zone, and then it's gonna have like an extended feel of that? You know what I mean? So I, I'm kind of curious to see how this one's gonna go. I'm very excited for it, and uh, go Hispanic culture because that's my <laughs> culture right there. You know what I'm saying? I think that's all of our cultures right there. So yep, true that. Um, see. <laughs> so i mean pretty much you said, said it all tony uh i'm i'm excited to see the stuff that i really don't know the creatures that they're pulling that we're not too familiar with and how they're going to dress them up and and you know present them to us and you, you know it's it's uh it you know i like that folklore or you know those mythological creatures whether it's you know, you know, Spanish heritage or, you know, just, you know, the like Ireland, their lore and stuff like that, just different uh, creatures from from all over. So uh, it's cool to see this specific, you know, zone kind of come to life. So I'm excited to see it and I can't wait to walk through it. And number one for both Rob and I. Ready, Rob? In three. Wait, two. wait, hold on. Let me just let me get on to Alt- alternative or whatever it's called. I'll Pueblo de Terre, so you guys can then have the full range. Okay, it. okay. Because we were already talking about that. Um, you know, we're positive too. Um, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be the best zone. I've really enjoyed what they've done with these zones previously. Uh, the last two years that I've gone with the holidays, um, and hell basically expansion there, and then the the silver screams, um, or whatever it was called last year. Um, I think it's a really cool zone. It's one of those zones I wish that you could like go in multiple times, but most of the time you have to go back in the maze to get back to the zone. Which kind of sucks, but um, I really like the Latino heritage or Hispanic heritage, whatever you want to call it, um, and, and the lore that comes with it. So 
I, I definitely think it's going to be the best scare zone. All right. Two. One. One. Death, Death Eaters, man. Eaters. Harry Potter Death Eaters, man. I'm so stoked for that. I mean, I, I think for me, it's, it's more just, you know, Orlando has already done it. Japan has already done it. We're the last ones to do it. We've been wanting it for so long. Yes. And there's just something about the Death Eaters when you watch that movie that they just kind of make you feel uncomfortable. That you know when they come into the in, into the film, especially in, in Order of the Phoenix, when they're all fighting in like the big crystal ballroom and stuff. Like you just feel that sense of uncomfortable, you know, because it's like a small group of people and then these Death Eaters are just coming out of nowhere. And like you just feel uncomfortable when you see them. And then not to mention like the tattoo is really cool. I mean, I kind of have a missed opportunity to get it where I should have get it, but I still think I'm going to get it. But the tattoo is really cool that the Death Eaters have. I mean, Voldemort's kind of just overall, his crew is just, I think it's cool that they come and smoke. Obviously, we're probably not going to see that because that's really impossible to, to accomplish. But if, yeah, if a couple somehow, of years, cut word, technology is a couple years, a couple yeah, years but away. But if Hornets could pull it off, like I'd be mind blown and be like, this is the greatest scare zone I've ever seen in my life. But. I mean, you got the Death Eaters, I mean, you know, and the, the, those masks look really cool, and then it depends. We might have different characters that might be Easter eggs to things, and just to give it a little bit more of a dark feel right there in Hogwarts, maybe different music, you know, maybe they'll turn the lights down a little bit dimmer, maybe they'll put, like, black lights there just to kind of give it that vibe and feel, so. And it's something to get us past from the main theme park to, like Sammy said, the Curious George area, so that's something that I'm glad they're kind of expanding on the uh, horizons of not having a safe area to really be in, so. Yeah, no, I I, uh, I agree with you, Tony. I think, and I'm not saying, you know, it was like a missed opportunity because, you know, last year it was just like, it, that was kind of a new, a new thing to open up the Wizarding World for us, but the whole time I was walking through there, I did think like, man, it'd be cool, like, to have some Death Eaters in here and just and the one thing that kind of stood out to me when they announced this is I was like, I feel like I feel and you guys know me and how I think. And when I when I look at stuff, I was like, I feel like the lighting and the, their costume design is all going to look like I don't know how much they're going to scare me. Obviously, they look very menacing. But for me, I'm just like, man, like the way they're going to look walking through, uh, you know, uh, the Wizarding World, just kind of I feel like. You know, with their with their cloaks and everything, just kind of flowing around yeah, the and castle the mask. In the background, right? Yeah, there. it's gonna it's gonna look so sick. You know, whether I get scared or not, I know they're gonna scare some people walking through there because there's plenty of spots for them there's to a lot hide. Of dark and, areas in that. I don't think a lot of people, even, even if you were to do a nighttime walkthrough on the day daytime operations when it turns night, there's a lot of dark spots there. So like, yeah, for imagine sure. With there's, the right lighting, it's just gonna even look scarier. Yeah, for sure. You you blind people with with the right lighting and let let them hide behind that light. I think it's going to look awesome. I'm excited for it. This is why I have it at number one, just because as soon as it was announced, I was just like, the, I see so many opportunities for for just like the scares, just with the like you said, like you're saying the the op, the the places to hide, the different you know the little crevices that they have uh, in the Wizarding World. So I, I'm I'm just super excited to go through there, and I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so yeah. you know it, 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 it that just adds on top of that. Gonna, Rob and I are going to walk and go. Ava-ka-dava! Yeah. They won't. I'm pretty sure I can't bring my wand in because last time I I you bought my wand. You wand there. And I just walk I do, but I already have. I have a serious black wand I right do too. there. Right. You have a serious black wand. I got a serious black wand right yeah, there. Yeah, I got my serious black wand right there. I got so, serious black. I got Voldemort, and I got the Elder Wand. Oh, you're you're you have more than me. I just wanted my serious black well, wand. I like those three my, so far. I'm I'm looking to see who I want to get next. Maybe Harry Potter. Maybe Newt from Fantastic Beast. I do like no, some Newt. Newt's pretty Newt, good, Newt, man. Newt Scamander. I yeah. I just have the robe. I have my Slytherin robe, which I was Slytherin house. Hell yeah. Yeah, Slytherin house. So and and my my serious black wand. Gonna make a new shirt called Slytherin Club. Yeah, let's do it. Just have the house thing and then. Ah. <laughs> But that is our most anticipated scare zone list. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button so we can get it out to more people so they can enjoy our content and get the updates like you guys are receiving. Let's also hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new, if you guys enjoyed today's video because we have a lot more videos like this coming out. And make sure to turn on that bell notification so you're aware every time we put up new content. Um, leave some comments down of what's your most anticipated scare zone list and make sure to tune in tomorrow because we're going to be talking about our most anticipated Halloween Horror Nights mazes. You don't want to miss that. That's going to wrap up uh, Halloween Horror Nights week. And tomorrow on our Instagram, we're also going to be doing our Not Scary Farm giveaway. So be sure to tune into that as well for that one lucky winner. With all that being said, I'm Anthony. I'm Rob. I'm Sam. We're the Knights of Horror, and we'll see you guys in the fog.
Peace. Peace.